oil market volatility and uncertainty have presented a challenge through time to both producers and consumers. The lack of information on market fundamentals became the point of focus during the late 1990s, as producers and consumers acknowledged that it contributed to this volatility. To address this challenge, in 2000, ministers at the 7th International Energy Forum Ministerial in Riyadh called for improved transparency and better oil data. Six international organizations, APEC, Eurostat, the IEA, OLADE, OPEC, and the UNSD answered that call and agreed to work together to enhance market data transparency. And so, in April 2001, the Joint Oil Data Exercise was launched. Its first goal was to ask countries to complete a harmonized oil data questionnaire. But would the countries respond? The answer was yes. Just 12 months after inception, 70 countries were submitting monthly oil data, representing 90% of global oil supply and demand. And so this energy data transparency exercise began to take root and grow. In January 2005, following enthusiastic endorsement from energy ministers, the IEF Secretariat assumed responsibility for coordinating Jody. The seven organizations quickly recognized the essential role that statisticians play in improving data transparency. In the years that followed, training workshops and conferences were organized all over the world, designed to build the capacity necessary to deliver monthly energy data, strengthen cooperation among the stakeholders, and broaden awareness of the benefits of data transparency. National statisticians play a key role in Jody, but there are many other important actors involved. Who are they? And how exactly does the Jody data supply chain work? Jody data flow from the ground up. Oil and gas companies send monthly data to their national administrations, which pass the data on to their respective Jody partners, which in turn send the data to the IEF, there is substantial communication and data verification performed along each step of the data supply chain. Thanks to this shared and sustained commitment to energy data transparency, Jody Oil now features data submissions from over 95 countries. In 2008, during the 11th IEF and at the extraordinary energy ministerial meetings of Jeddah and London, energy ministers called for the extension of the Jody platform to cover natural gas. The following year, the Jody partners launched the Jody Gas Exercise, which collects production, demand, trade, and storage data. Support for Jody Gas was regularly voiced at meetings of the G8, G20, and other ministerial bodies. In March 2012, at the 13th IEF in Kuwait, Ministers reaffirmed their support for the launch of Jody Gas. Two months later, the Jody Partners organized the second Gas Data Transparency Conference in Doha, where they agreed to seek support in converting Jody Gas from an exercise into a permanent initiative. In October 2012, it was official. Jody Gas became a permanent initiative. By the following month, 52 countries were participating in Jody Gas, representing around two-thirds of global supply and demand. January 2013, a beta version of Jody Gas is made available to all countries submitting gas data to gather feedback and promote participation. Just three months later, the number of participating countries had risen to 69, representing around 80% of global supply and demand of gas. June 2013. The Jody Partners organized the third Gas Data Transparency Conference in Indonesia, which convened representatives from national administrations and industry to discuss and define a checklist of final steps prior to the public launch of the initiative. One of the agreed upon preconditions to the public launch was the completion of the Jody Gas Manual, which was published in February 2014. Another precondition to launch the organization of training workshops on Jody Gas for statisticians from participating countries. The IEF and Jody partners soon organized not one, but two such workshops in Kuala Lumpur and Baku, with more to follow. 
Also vital to Jody Gas was the inclusion of more data from key producing and consuming countries. In April 2014, the Gas Exporting Countries Forum came on board as a Jody Gas partner. May 2014, six years after ministers made the call, the Jody Gas World Database is now open to the public. Jody Gas is the result of years of hard work by hundreds of people around the globe who, by cooperating every single month, have endeavored to enhance global natural gas data transparency for the benefit of all market actors. Jody Gas is a commendable achievement, but it remains a work in progress. It relies on an unwavering and sustained commitment to transparency from leaders and ministers, as well as from national statisticians and, of course, the Jody partners themselves. Jody Gas, a concrete outcome of the producer consumer dialogue. Support Jody. Better data, better decisions. <laughs>